This is my review of the Canon Scout Safe. It's the SC6040 model. I purchased it at Costco uh, about a year ago for 650, I believe. Made a few modifications over that time frame. First thing I added was the uh, red LED for the keypad there. It's just a magnetic mount. Comes off very easily. Bought that at Dean Safe Company. As we open the safe here, I also purchased um, the door pad here at Dean's. And let me flip on a light here so you can see a little bit better. Um, I had the Acorn pistol pouches mounted to the door safe uh, before I moved all of my handguns to the undershelf rail mount there. The safe I've been pretty happy with. Um, it's got four side bolts there. It does not have the top or bottom bolts, but for the price, uh, the size of the safe, I thought it was a very good deal. Um, as you can see, uh, the shelves are reconfigurable to either side. I've got actually two extra shelves that I'm not using currently. Um, I, I have not been able to find this tan felt that uh, they use in this safe. I need to build a, a box for my long gun so that all of the barrels extend through the holders there. Uh, that's the, that's, I think that's the only mod that uh, I'm seeing at, that needed at this point. The uh, pistol holder, um, I saw this on YouTube. Great idea with a uh, one by one block of wood there and steel rods with um, rubber caps and uh, heat shrink around them to protect the barrels. I did have to add the plywood brace there because I did notice the uh, shelf was starting to bow in the center from the weight of the pistols. So as far as the LED lights, let me show you. Um, both lights are operated off the door switch and uh, usually just keep the red on. And this door switch here, I bought at Home Depot. It's just a $14 door switch. Um, it had a larger metal case. I believe they use them in closets and so forth. Uh, but I took that off. Didn't need, didn't need to take up all that space. The uh, toggle switch here, I made the housing out of a uh, sheet of plexiglass. Just rolled it and then put an end on it to mount the switch. I've got uh, four, or excuse me, I've got five red LED uh, light strips, two on each side, and then one across the top. And as you can see there, the way I've mounted these uh, are just with wood corner blocks. Um, I purchased the LED strips on eBay. I think they ran about 15 bucks a piece. Um, they came with aluminum railing though, which made it easy to mount. So I've got the five red, five red LED strips, and then I've got two white on each side. So this safe comes with two AC outlets and USB outlets that are feed through. Um, so I plugged my one and a half amp AC power uh, transformer there to power the LEDs into the AC outlet. Um, need to reorganize my safe a little bit. It's a little a little uh, clustered there, but um, been very happy with it as I said before. I uh, try not to keep too much ammo in the safe itself. I've got a couple of clips that are loaded, but uh, the majority of my ammo is exterior. Um, this safe is rated for 30 minutes at 1200 degrees, so uh, given that it'll, you know, during the unfortunate event of a house fire, should keep firearms um, pretty undamaged. So, and at a, you know, the safe itself weighs in at about 800 pounds. So I'm not really worried about anybody coming in and carrying it off until I can get it mounted to the floor. Um, you know, with the guns in it, it's about a thousand pounds. So I don't think anybody's going to strap that to the back and take off. But uh, I'm welcome. Uh, I welcome feedback, comments. Um, I've seen a lot of great ideas on YouTube, and such as the uh, magnetic mount there for the clips. I also got that off of, uh, I think, Dean's Safe Company. But I um, just wanted to share what I had done. I've seen some great ideas out there, so uh, thanks for watching.